I know the Elite Four members tend to not be the most interesting characters of all, unless you're Lance, but what if they were more interesting? What if Indigo Disc fleshes out Blueberry Academy's Elite Four? We haven't had the best precedent for characterization, but I think this generation can pull it off. Kieran has positioned himself against Florian and Juliana, the player character. And we have four friends, Carmine, Nimona, Penny, and Arvin. What if his Elite Four are reflections or foils to the cast of friends we've built up since the beginning of the game? Amaris, for example, has a cold exterior but is more expressive towards her friends and is loyal to them. When we're first introduced to Blueberry Academy's Elite Four in one of the trailers, she's flat out standing in attention. This contrasts with the less disciplined Penny, who is brilliant at hacking, but she slacks off. Then again, she was trying to dismantle Team Star while being the leader of Team Star at the same time. What about Crispin? We know that Crispin is a chef and a fire-type specialist, so he's quite passionate and outgoing since he does cook for the other Elite Four members. In contrast, Arvin is our resident cook. I mean, his Japanese name is Pepper, after all. But he's a bit more aloof and reserved, as indicated by his character design. One eye is covered, and eyes are of a window to the soul, after all, and he's covering one of those windows. Drayton is a powerful battler, but he's lazy as hell, skipping class so much he gets held back three times. Let's contrast this to Nimona, who is the ace at everything, whether it's battling or grades. She also comes from a wealthy family. Given that Drayton is implied to be related to Drayden from the Unova games, he also has a family legacy as well. Lacey was the one I had the most difficulty when coming up with how she relates to Carmine. We don't know much about her other than the fact that she's a second year student who shows you around. Also, she likes cute things. With Carmine, we've seen both the caring side of her when dealing with us, and the rougher side when she deals with Kieran. With Kieran linking the two together, things started falling into place a bit more. Maybe Lacey represents the kind of sister Kieran wished Carmine was. It's odd that her English description says she's a second year student explicitly. Then I thought, it's never stated how old Carmine is. Maybe she is Carmine's age. By no means does Kieran want his sister to be weak at all, since Lacey stands even above his sister. Maybe Lacey's openness and kindness while still being strong and in the same year as Carmine would make him consider her to be more of an ideal sister. There are many ways we can play these cards. If Kieran knows them and is friends with them, then it drives home the fact that Kieran is the foil to the player character. I mean, he changed his uniform slightly, just how we can't really change out of the Naranja Uva uniforms until the DLC, and then he redid his hair as if he was a customizable character. I mean, how many rivals can boast of that? If he's not friends with his Elite Four and is just plain lonely, then it becomes ironic. His desire to be like Florian or Juliana would basically be hiding out under his nose, but he is so obsessed with overcoming Florian and Juliana that he is basically throwing away an opportunity to be just like them. Huh. <sighs> but those are just my thoughts. Please consider liking, subscribing, tipping the channel on Kofi. If you have any thoughts of your own, put them in the comments section. This is Cyril signing off.